Hey guys, it's one half of Mitten Model Horses. I am Briar Othello Gal, and today we are going to be- <laughs> Sorry, my mom just texted me. It's like five o'clock in the morning and she heard me wake up. Um, I can't sleep, so I'm going to be filming, like, my quarantine haul. If you guys are kind of confused what we're doing, this is like- Everything that we would have purchased at the Clarion if we were going to Briarfest. So this is kind of like our Briarfest haul part one and then part two will be all of the exclusive models. Yeah, let's get started. I kind of organized these from like least exciting to most exciting. Obviously all of these are exciting, but some of the stuff I have in the beginning are like regular runs and stuff. Oh, I also just wanted to mention I got a new phone so I can finally film stuff without having to steal Emma's camera, which is also super exciting. Okay, um, first we have, I think their names are Fantasa, Delcy, and Ganoza. Um, these were regular runs from a few years ago. I think they're retired now. Um, I had, I do have this set. Well, kind of. So I still have the full from the set, but I ended up painting and selling the mare. So I no longer had her and I was sad about it. Um, you'll see a few of these horses I've actually had before and I painted them and I wanted the OF version again. So, um, yeah, I finally have this, this mare again. She is very, very pretty. I like this mold a lot. Um, so, um, yeah, I don't know. They're just like old regular runs. If I was at Briarfest, I probably wouldn't have gotten them, but, um, they're from one of our vlogs if you watch that. And then I also got uh, Celeste. Again, I had her before, but I sold her. I just had like weird horses at the time and now I have a pretty large conga. I think I have five of them and I plan on getting the decorator from Briarfest this year. So I have a pretty nice conga on the mold and she fits in really nice with the new unicorn. So yeah, she's really pretty. She has like warped ears, but I can fix those. They're like bent backwards. She must be running really fast. Okay. Then I also have Lionel. You, if you watched our shopping vlog, you should have seen him. Um, if not, here he is. <laughs> he's really pretty. Um, he's not as orange as he looks. I also have night shift on right now because it's so early in the morning. So he looks like really crazy on my camera. But uh, yeah, this is him. He's super cool. He's the flagship model from this year. Um... Yeah, I probably wouldn't have gotten him at Briarfest either, but he was at our toy store. Then I have this cute little Peter Stone um, standing weanling. She was so cheap on eBay and she is perfect. I love it when Peter Stone ha has this like um, speckling thing that they do on like their Appaloosas and stuff. And she has so much of it. It's so cute. Um, yeah, she's just, like, the most adorable little thing. This is my first Peter Stone full. Um, I have two Morgans, and then I have, like, an old vintage Morgan. So those are the only stones I have. Um, this mold is adorable, though. I like her a lot. Okay, then we have a regular run from this year. This is Stingray. Um, people kind of, like, freaked out at first because in the promo pictures, you can't tell that she has these spots. Um, but she does have a few of them. They're not weird at all, though. I think they look fine. And I thought that she was a gelding. She is, in fact, a mare. And the real horse is a mare, too. Um, this color is just so pretty. I don't think she looks like the real horse. But, I mean, the owners approved of it. And I think she looks really cool. Like this. So that's her. Um, then I also bought a baby flow. I had a baby flow and I painted her. And then I wanted an OF one again. So... I picked one up on eBay. She was new in box. She was super cheap. And yeah, she's retired now and she's getting a little harder to find. I mean, you can still find the occasional one up for cheap, but some of them are starting to climb up there in price. Then I have Pepto Boons Mall, which is a mid-year release from this year. And honestly, I cannot believe that someone named their horse Pepto Boons Mall, but you know, that is not my problem. Um, he is so cool. Everyone freaked out when they saw him because they thought there was like another stingray situation. Like they didn't think that he looked like the real horse. He has these dapples. He just looks so much nicer in person. 
Like, holy moly. Look at those dapples. And yeah, he has a brand right there. Like, oh my gosh, guys. He is... He is such a nice regular run. Like, people would probably pay special run price for him. Or like, web special price. Because he's really cool. Then, um, I... Also got a Shire Gelding again. I had one of him before and I painted him and I sold him last year at Briarfest and I just, I wanted him again. So here he is, he's so pretty. He has like a nice dark face and he has really soft dabbles. He's, I do not regret getting him at all. I do not regret painting my other one either because my other one had a broken bob. Um. I probably broke it, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, okay, now we're moving on to some exciting things. Ow. Do you guys hear my hip crack? Okay. This is um, the Dapple Gray Proving Paso, and I have been looking for him for years, and he is not hard to find. It's just I never bought him. He has brown eyes, and the reason why I bought him was because this side is so dark. I have never seen one that dark before, so I freaked out and I got him. Um, yeah, I told myself that I would get him last year at Briarfest, and then I never did. So now he is here. Um, I only need one more model on this mold to complete my obtainable conga, because then there's like the really rare stuff that I'll never be able to afford. Uh, so that's super exciting. Just one more Peruvian Paso. Then I have, I think his name is Akal. I don't know his name. I think it's a call. He's the new Premier Club model from this year. You guys know that. Um, he's wearing this really fancy tack that I think Emma put on him. Um, yeah, he's really cool. He's super long. Um, he's cool, though. I think all of the accounts that I have seen are so nice. Like, he has mapping and beautiful, subtle dapples and shading. Yeah, he's just really, really cool super long um they did the the like appaloosa thingy on him for the raffle model this year um he was also really pretty so i'm excited to see other colors on this guy yeah i'm not gonna talk about him too much because i'm sure all of you have seen loads of pictures of alcohol then another horse i'm not gonna spend too much time on is bramble you guys um might have seen our unboxing video this is probably the only horse you've seen from that. Also, some of these horses got snuck into my collection tour, but whatever. I forgot to take them down off the shelf. Um, yeah, so this is Bramble. She is so cool. I'm so happy that I got her. I got her from a girl on Instagram. She was so nice. Um, yeah, if I would have purchased her at Briarfest, I would have been very, very excited. You can see she's so rony and cool. I love, I love rony ponies. Well, that's her. Then, ah, spoilers. Oh my gosh, Hannah. <laughs> um, ah, look, at, okay, so this, guys, I love the Forever Sage mold. This is, um, my first Honey Gibbons custom. Yes, and she is an Appaloosa. I love Appaloosas. I love Sage. Um, Emma and I have never owned a Honey Gibbons piece before, and this is our first one. Ah, it's so exciting. Um, look at her signature. Isn't that so cool? So yeah, I, <laughs> I bought a custom sage. So this is the second custom in my collection that isn't done by me. My other one is an Othello that I bought last year at Briarfest. Um, so yeah, this is, she is so cool. I don't know if I'll show her, but like, she's just an awesome piece to have in my collection. Okay, now on to like the super exciting stuff. Kind of, because this next horse is pretty cheap. But this is the Adios Signing Horse from Briarfest 2018. Um, sorry, I had to think about that for a second. It's right there on his hip. Um, yeah, so Briar released a horse that was really cheap with the intentions of people getting it signed. They didn't do it for 2019 or 2020, but um, I love the Adios mold, and this color is really, really pretty. So... I, I got him. Yeah. Um, I've actually been wanting him and I was really dumb when I was at Briarfest and I didn't get him. I don't know why I didn't get him because I did want him then too. But it doesn't matter because now I have him. Isn't he cool? 
I, I think he's just so cool. They did the, they, I think they did a, a bowl in this color and then they also did a Cluban Bay in this color. Okay. Um, next, we have the glossy rose gray Heroes Welcome Surprise. Now, I never thought that I would own this horse because um, unless it's a mold that I seriously conga, I don't see myself ever buying glossy surprise horses secondhand. But there is an exception to this one because this one was Emma's. Um, so Emma and I did a trade. I traded my Kahindi for him. And yeah oh my gosh he is just so pretty like <laughs> isn't he cool so i do have two glossy heroes welcome surprises because if you watch my Briarfest haul from last year i also have the glossy um the dark gray version so yeah and then i also have another heroes welcome surprise from last year he has a warped leg i do need to fix that i know it looks kind of weird um this is the champagne version yeah, so um, I really like this variation. Emma ended up trading for him at Briarfest. I never pulled one, so I was super jealous. And now I have him. I forgot what we traded exactly, but we did do another trade for him. And he is so pretty, oh my gosh. These Andalusian stallions just, just hit me different. They are so cool. Then, um, I'm just gonna scooch up here. I have a Guji. So I also bought this horse off of a girl on Instagram. She was so nice. She was selling him for less than selling price because she was trying to get him out quickly to get a grail that popped up. I screamed. Oh my gosh. I did not get picked for Guji. I was so sad because I love Appaloosas so much and I like this mold and they don't do a lot of fun colors on this mold. So, um, Oh my gosh, guys, there is a spider just like chilling right there in the center of my room. <sighs> okay, um, that is so disgusting. Uh, but yeah, so he's really cool. He's got these like little speckles all over him and he's got mapped socks. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. Yeah, my mom likes him too because... We both really like apples. I cannot. That is so gross. I don't even want to touch it. That's scary. Um, okay, next we have Rushmore. So um, this horse was like so cheap a few years ago. And then his price started going up. And I'm like, what is happening? Why didn't I buy him when he was cheap? So I found one really cheap, but he had these white marks all over him. And it turns out that it was just this really cheap acrylic paint that I was able to wash off. So he's like perfect. He also didn't come with a stand. So he stole one of my Dark Horse Surprises stands. But oh, I finally have a Rushmore. And again, he's like a dappled roan. He is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've wanted him forever. He is a Briarfest 2007 special run. So this was from their Stars and Stripes event. Yeah. He's so cool. Then I bought the Appaloosa Pop the Cork. Um, I have been looking for this guy forever. I didn't really like him when he first came out, but it didn't even matter because I never ended up pulling him. Um, where did the spider go? <gasps> He's like climbing up. Can you guys see him? Oh my gosh, look at He's like out of focus. That doesn't even matter right now. I'm sorry. That's just so disgusting. Um, yeah. So again, I love it when Briar does these like little like speckly things. Isn't it so cute? I'm sorry. I'm like showing you his junk right now, but he does have it on his face too. Um, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I like him a lot. He is, he is very, very cool. And I don't have any room on my Nakoda shelf anymore, so I can't get any more Nakotas, but... <laughs> He's very, very cool. Um, yeah. He's from 2014, so he's he's kind of old, man. Well, I guess he's... A lot of these are old. Well, some of them. I don't... Okay. It's so early right now, I can't think. So, my biggest purchase from this whole thing is Silver Knight. Ah! Uh, he is the connoisseur. Adios. He's my third connoisseur. I honestly 
never thought I would own a briar connoisseur and I ended up owning now three of them um he is so cool I don't remember what year he was produced in um because they didn't like put vins on them back then wait it might say on here oh he's from 2002 um yeah so he's very very cool I really want a frappe but he is very hard to find and this guy is also very hard to find um he's a little mapped or not mapped masked star um he's just very very beautiful um he is definitely my most expensive adios uh, my adios conga is making me very happy at the moment and then the last but not least thing i got another dino mare okay if you guys um i used to have a youtube channel before emma and i started this one and I have the other two Copper Fox releases on this mold. Um, I have the Glossy Henrietta and the Matte Truffles. I finally have an unpainted one. Now, she is like super, super body. Because um, I think Copper Fox just kind of like takes horses that aren't good enough for their line and kind of sprays white over them and then sells them as bodies. So I don't know if I'm going to keep her like this straight from Copper Fox or if I'm going to end up painting her. Mostly because I have no idea what I would paint her as. But she did come in this fancy box. And, um, yeah, I have three fat dino ponies. They look like little dinosaurs. They're so cute. So I kind of made a mess of everything. But, yeah, this is, like, what I would have gotten in the Briarfest Clarion. Um, make sure you stay tuned for Sunday because Emma will be posting her, like, Clarion haul and then watch out for next week because we will be posting our actual special runs that we got so thank you so much for watching oh my gosh I forgot to thank you so much for a thousand subscribers that was crazy um this is our first video of posting since we hit a thousand thank you guys so much I think last year at Briarfest we had 300 subscribers so um just just thank you it's unbelievable um we love you all so much subscribe so that you can watch those videos that are coming up soon there will be three more videos within the next week and i hope you have a lovely briar fest bye